Firstly, I won't be dignifying certain silliness that went on for about 10 minutes, a day or two with a response, where I'm not Dr. Doom and, and I'm not in an evil cabal with anyone. Um, I was going to talk about the wonderful London Underground renaming. This is something where the all left or right wing, which seems to have people are finding a bit strange. Here's the new map. And here down the bottom, you can see the sort of new stations. I'll try and blow this up. Let me move myself. Sounds a bit strange. And sort of blow this map up a bit. There you can see the new London Overground lines, Liberty Line, Lioness Line, who named it that? <sighs> Malicious use of English, I'd call that Lioness Lion. <sighs> Just think about how it sounds, Lioness Lion. Mild May Lion, Suffragette Lion, Weaver Lion and Windrush Lion and the DLR. We now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 1670, well, over 20 sort of lines. We have colours used again with parallel lines between them. How to create confusion, especially for tourists. How to create complete... I don't think anyone was pushing for this, whether you are left-wing, right-wing, or whatever your personal politics. I don't think this was a burning issue for anyone that they were particularly concerned about. Here's a, um, a BBC report on it. With Sadiq Khan there, um, I imagine Captain Kirk is standing just out of shot, shot going, Khan! Uh, possibly not, because he at least can teleport it to and from work, unlike the rest of us. London Underground, how the Overground's new names are chosen. Um, <laughs> was something I'd love to know, especially Lioness Lion. Um <sighs> Just because of the, the stupid alliteration of it and the fact that you're repeating that it's a hom virtually a homonym. You might as well call it Lion Lion. The simplicity of the London Underground map created in 1933 by Harry Beckers made it a national icon. Don't think that'll be happening with this one, though. On th Thursday, Transport for London TFL announced a makeover of the map with new names and colours for six London Overground lines. The London Overground and its distinctive un orange and blue round all started running in 2017. <laughs> At the moment, it's two, 113 station route orbiting the capital is marked by an orange line. And yeah, we just call it all the Overground. And as I say, I don't think it was any great push for anyone to go, oh, let's rename bits of it, split them off. Uh, I don't think anyone cared, really. I think people would have been far more interested in something like step-free access or upgrades to let people who are disabled get onto platforms or repairing broken bits or or better security on station or more provision of ticket agents. Far more useful. The project has not been simple. I'm, I'm sure it hasn't. TFLA ha had to work out the lines would fit on the map, what colours to use. I'm sure many... Many, many packs of highlighters were <laughs> employed and many copies of Photoshop were used and, uh, used in the office and had to make sure the names are clearly audible over a tannoy. So why, why after all that, did someone choose the uh, ter terrible Lioness line? Just keep saying that, Lioness line. You are basically... Oh, it tortures me to hear it. The Lioness line runs in parallel to the Bakerloo line, so we need to be careful there were not two tones of colour which were similar. The overhaul has been touted for a number of years. Sadiq Khan pledged it in his 2021 Labour Man Mayoral Manifesto, probably buried in there some, somewhere so deep that only the most <sighs> pedantic readers not would noticed it. I don't even mind some of the names themselves as a rename, but why not just rename a station rather than entire sections, which are split in kind of arbitrary odd ways? I had to explain to somebody what the Weaver line was actually getting at even. At least the Windrush line and Suffragette line are, are reasonably tied to some history that people understand. The Weaver line was like, what's all that about then? And I had to explain that it was about the craft history of those areas and textile 
production. They weren't aware of it. It's no longer particularly current history. What are the London Overground New Lines? Lioness Lines. Oh, every time I say it, it's torturing me. Yellow parallel lines running through Wimbley. The name is to honour the achievement of the England's women's football team. Mile Bay Line. Blue parallel lines. It has been named after the small charitable hospital in Shoreditch. I probably have the least problem at this one, and the Windrush one below in some ways, which played an important role during the HIV AIDS crisis in the 1980s. Mile Windrush line, red parallel lines. Weaver line, maroon parallel lines. <sighs> yeah, maroon. Suffragette lines, green parallel lines, liberty lines. It is named to reference the historical independence of the people of the Bover of through the Havering through it runs. Well, I'm sure that's something that everybody is absolutely, you know, <laughs> totally aware of all day. I mean, this is just doesn't this strikes me as somebody found a problem and created a solution to a problem that really wasn't required. Uh, I noticed it, it's an issue that is getting a certain amount of laughter, whether you're like left or right wing.